stand idle while their mothers collect water in Juba, the South Sudanese capital. Life in one of the poorest and least stable countries in the world was already hard for these families. And the global pandemic has put more strain on their shoulders. For now, Pasca Itwari Beda can afford to feed her five children from money earned from her cleaning job. But she says her salary doesn't go far enough. When you go to the market, your money doesn't get you anything at all. That's how the coronavirus has affected us. Also, it's ruined the lives of many children. Some are forcefully married, others have become thieves, and some are street children. Without school, they are lost. They're not just lost. The UN estimates that 1.76 million people, children included, have had to abandon their homes but haven't fled across an international border. They are the internally displaced, left with no choice but to leave the communities after armed groups attacked their homes. My house was burnt down, but I'm happy to receive this food. My children can eat something today. We are suffering with our children. There is no way to go to the farm and collect food. We really need peace, nothing more, only peace. While some escape violence, others are on the move because of unprecedented flooding. With agriculture in tatters, international aid has been keeping a growing number of people alive. But there's uncertainty there too. The UK was South Sudan's second largest donor, but it has slashed its aid budget. Agencies warn of human catastrophe if international donors cut spending. Many families in Juba haven't been victims of the horrors that have forced millions of others from their homes. Yet their futures aren't much more certain. Claire Herriot, TRT World.